All right, dudes, I'm on the Fjorder map today, and I am going to be taming seven Arc Editions variants that spawn here. If you're looking for more in-depth taming guides on any one of these creatures, I got you covered. Just follow the link at the top of the screen. You can also find my mod list in the video description below. And hey, while you're down there, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Quick note before we get started, I am going to be using Extraordinary Kibble for all of these creatures, but we'll let you know the minimum kibble level required for each one. Alright, let's get into it. Alright dudes, taming a Brachiosaurus with an Andrew Sarkis is totally badass. Here's what you're gonna need. An Andrew Sarkis. It's turret saddle, and plenty of advanced rifle bullets. And of course you will need exceptional kibble and biotoxin. Don't forget to drop a sanguine elixir if you have one. Two hours later. For the helicopterian, you're going to need little ratfish treats, some scuba sets, and a big old basilosaurus. Swim up to the heli with the little ratfish treats in your hot bar, give him a treat, then quickly swim back to your basilosaurus and prepare for the fight. I recommend creating some distance before you start attacking to avoid hitting the heli and ruining the tame. Awesome Spyglass and Creature Finder Deluxe come in super handy for this one. Once it's ready to eat again, just rinse and repeat.
the dino storage mod is going to come in super handy for this last feeding because once you tame it, it's going to spawn more enemies and immediately get attacked. If you are unable to quickly pick it up here, it's likely going to get killed. I really wish Garuga would get rid of the enemy spawns for this final feeding since it makes things super hectic and you risk losing your hard earned heli if you are not able to quickly get it out of the fight. For the acro, we're going to bring along our favorite shotgun with plenty of ammo, exceptional kibble, and a stack of biotoxin in a hot bar. We're going to be corralling it in a metal gateway trap. Just be aware that they can and will damage metal structures. Once we got a trap, shoot it until it goes into its shield stance. From here, keep shooting it until it roars. Quickly run up to its mouth and feed it some biotoxin. Rinse and repeat. Feeding it biotoxin will also recover its health. Once it goes to bed, drop the kibble in its inventory, and don't forget to use a sanguine elixir like I did. Now that is a pretty dinosaur right there, I tell you what. Your best bet for taming a Zyphactinus is to bring along a net gun, shocking trank darts, superior kibble, scuba gear, and big boy basilosaurus. These morons are really good at picking fights that they can't win, so you're going to want to condition the area to kill off anything that might kill them first. They have high torpor and low health. So your best bet to knock one out is to lure it close to the shore so that you can use the long neck rifle with shocking trank darts. You can pin them down in place with a net gun. You can also build a trap, just be aware it might be difficult to lure them into it. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Crap. Never fear, I have a plan B. 
Sorry, Basilosaur. You're gonna have to take one more for the team, bud. This is why the Basilosaurus is the best water creature in Ark. They give so much and ask for so little. Don't let him get away! You can use Sanguine Elixirs on water creatures, you just can't be swimming when you use it. So try to stand on top of the creature that you've knocked out. The Cryo is, in my opinion, the most annoying creature in the entire game to tame. To do it, you're going to need a shotgun with plenty of ammo, exceptional kibble, and a trap to hold it in. When it starts using its frost breath attack, shoot it in the mouth so that it freezes itself. Once frozen, run up to the mouth and feed it the kibble. Most of the time it's going to go like this though, so get used to seeing your character in third person, frozen, solid. Here you can see that I threw out my Brachiosaurus. It was my hope that it would pull the cryo's attention away from me so that I could shoot it without being frozen every five seconds. Which did work. Eventually. You're gonna also want to throw out a sleeping bag because there's a good chance you are going to die. You And with that, we have finally tamed one of the most annoying creatures in the entire game. So, after the misery that was taming a Cryolophosaurus, let's wind down with a nice passive tame on the Dinosuchus. All you're going to need for this guy is a ghillie suit and some superior kibble. You're going to wait until the Dinosuchus opens its mouth, then calmly sneak up and drop in a tasty treat. If the dino is just sitting there not moving at all, go up to the mouth and see if you get the feed prompt. It might just be glitching. Also, try not to bump into it during the taming process. They don't seem to like that.
And last but not least, we have the Aberrant Concavenator. The easiest way to tame one of these is with a Cryolophosaurus that we tamed up earlier. You'll also want to bring along a Gas Mask, Superior Kibble, and Biotoxin. Using your Cryo, find some nearby water and fill up its tank. Then use the Poison Spit attack with C to raise the torpor of the Concavenator while it is submerged. I was honestly unsure if I should even add this creature to the video because this is the only time I've ever seen an Aberrant Concavenator on the Fjorder map. In addition to the apparent rarity, it also seemed to glitch out a lot by getting stuck above ground. The Concavenator can only have its torpor raised when it is submerged, so if it gets stuck above ground like mine did, you will not be able to knock it out. The only way that I was able to remedy this was by logging out of the game, then logging back in. Once I reloaded the map, it would be submerged again, and I was finally able to knock it out. And that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to go hang out with my new friends now. Stay tuned for more. Love you, bye.